Oh my goodness, it's going to be a beautiful day. Welcome to today, the 25th of January, 2022. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, just the tip, I promise. <laughs> Oh, come one, come all, let's have a ball. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. AD Justice, Krug Still, Sabrina Miles, Lauren Shea, Tom Shuba. Every day with you is a journey. On a path in life that I cannot see. Get your turkey cool pads. When I awaken to find you here. Your legal pads. Certain that it's not a dream. Two bottles of prison tattoo, you can be used in the Burning World Trade Centers. When they're not there, I just can't believe. It's an emergency it's show. So much. I need your yeah. Pleasure. Seems how nothing I can say it gets out publicly. So We're going to do it anyway. Great day. Great day to take over the world. Clean up the mess everybody left behind. And you never have to worry about a pattern. It's profitable. When you're up a creek with me. We're going to talk to Alexa and Matt. It's going to be great. Let's see if she's on LSD this morning. The reason I want to breathe. This song is my own production. I made it for Jennifer Rodriguez back in the day when we shared love. Yeah, it came in a little box with some saran wrap on it. You never have to worry about me. I made that on Logic Pro 9.0 after I went to Lansing Community College to get acquainted with the software. I took massage classes too. Let's smudge the room. Oh, I see my eyeballs left. Smudge the room. A little sage and willow. Okay, let's see. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Or I meant to say, bad evening. Because today is most certainly not opposite day. No siree. Also dogs love cats, and fruitcake is delicious, especially when aged. Furthermore, I really don't like to sing, not one bit. Oh, you're going to sing today, Alexa. Alexa. Who owns the patent for lysergic acid diethylamide? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. Alexa, why is the use of LSD among U.S. adults increased 56.4% from 2015 to 2018? Here's something I found on the web. According to NyDailyNews.com, baby boomers are getting high in increasing numbers, reflecting growing acceptance of the drug as treatment for various medical conditions, according to a study published Monday in the journal Addiction. Who manufactures the drug? Hmm, I don't know that. That's convenient. Hmm, I don't know that. LSD, I've got the wiki on it here. LSD redirects here. This, uh, also known colloquially as acid, yeah, sufficient, at sufficiently high doses, LSD manifests primarily visual as well as auditory hallucinations. Mm. 
the 50s and 60s, LSD was subject to exceptional interest within the field of psychiatry in the 50s and 60s, with Sandoz distributing LSD to researchers under the trademark Delicid, D-E-L-Y-S-I-D, in an attempt to find a marketable use for it. Alexa, who owns Sandoz? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, Adam Stewart is the current executive chairman of Sandals Resorts International, SRI, which owns and operates Caribbean-based Sandals Resorts and Beaches Resorts. San Alexa, the word is Sandoz. Sorry, what device? S-A-N-D-O-Z, Sandoz. Who, do, who owns Sandoz? Mm -hmm. Alexa, don't you walk away from this table. I'm having a board meeting. I don't care if you're bored or not. Alexa, tell me about Operation Midnight Climax. According to Wikipedia, Operation Midnight Climax was an operation carried out by the CIA as a subproject of Project MK Ultra, the mind control research program that began in the 1950s. It was initially established in 1954 by Sidney Gottlieb and placed under the direction of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics in Boston, Massachusetts with the federal narcotics agent and CIA consultant George Hunter White under the pseudonym of Morgan Hall. Interesting. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Hmm, yes, I'm sure. Um, what, tell me about Project Artichoke. Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, Project Artichoke, also referred to as Operation Artichoke, was a central intelligence agency, CIA, project that researched interrogation methods. That's interesting. I'm glad you think so. Alexa, I'd like a special drawer in my desk in the White House, please. Okay. Here's something I found on the web. According to Amazon.com, the desk features a small center storage drawer that's perfect for pens, paper, computer peripherals, and other small office supplies. Alexa, how many pairs of scissors does President Joe Biden have? This might answer your question. Joe Biden has Juris Doctor and Bachelor of Arts. Bachelor of Arts, really? That means he has a penis. Astro is a household robot that can help you monitor your home when you're away. It can also deliver reminders and messages, play games, help carry small objects, and follow you while playing music or podcasts. Alexa, For more information... Alexa, please forgive me. The dick phone's ringing. I have a feel sensation in my scrotum. Hold on. Oh, I like to take my time with that. Yes, Yes, patch him through. Good morning, Mr. Biden. President, sir. Yes, I was just uh, doing some investigations. What's going on in the Antarctic I need to know about? Well, I know there's some arguing over who gets to plant their little flag in where spaces. I know there's a lot of oil there. It needs to stay there. Well, perhaps if you don't more LSD in the streets. Well, I know it doesn't fit in with the methamphetamine program, but, you know, us older people kind of enjoy that. Go ahead, yes. Which magazine today? I don't care. I'm really getting bored with Cats Magazine. How about monkeys? Monkeys are the topic today. Yes, monkeys. Hey, I thought we weren't doing any more experiments with apes and things, and it is contrary to Dr. Jane Goodall's work and professions. Yes. Oh, I am guilty. I am guilty. Guilty of asking all those hard questions. I want to know why 100 monkeys got dumped in the highway by a trucker who was slick enough to flip that truck and let everybody know about it. 
Yeah, why are we doing testing on monkeys still? We got enough monkeys in the street using your methamphetamines. Oh, yes. I've had it, Biden. Yes, time to tune back in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I have some, I have just a few operatives. Yes, I do. And they're very deadly and stealthy. Yes, some are seeking justice in the AD time. Almost certainly. Yes, how many Hitler's men do we still have on the, on the payroll? After World War II, we adopted them all in and gave them jobs. How many are still working for us? Their affiliate families. Yes. Are we in bed with Australia with the operations to get skilled labor in, our, in Antarctica? I saw the ad recently looking for carpenters down there. Well, yes, I'm interested. Yes, I want to set up a little rabbit farm producing rabbit meat for people because chickens won't be able to survive. I know there's a brewery down there. Uh, and China is the chief importer of barley. I don't see barley soup on the menu anywhere. No, and the horses are upset. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm asking. Yes, they are tough questions, I know. No, you don't get to go to the cabinet and see. There's a little Indian in there, and you don't have the key. I do. Yes. Let's see. Possible death. One possible death associated with Project MK Ultra and Operation Midnight Climax was the death of Frank Olson, an American bacteriologist. Yes, pay attention. Write this notes down. Skip the, skip the crossword puzzle. Biological warfare scientists, an employee with the United States Army Biological Warfare Laboratories who worked at Camp Detrick in Maryland. At a meeting in rural Maryland, he was covertly dosed with LSD by his colleague Cindy Gottlieb, who was an American chemist and spy master who headed the CIA in the 50s and 60s assassination attempts and mind control program known as Project MKUltra. Nine days later, plunged to his death from a window of Hotel Statler. Yes, U.S. government first described his death as a suicide and then as misadventure while others alleged murder. The Rockefeller Commission report on the CIA in 75 acknowledged their having conducted covert drug studies on fellow agents. Yeah, they dosed Billy Holiday, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Television. Yes, television. See, the very television that you use to brainwash society trained me. Special forces. Yeah, I'm the kid that asked what that little bouncing mushroom was with the dots on it. I was the only kid. Hats off to Joseph Vandermoen. He's a fellow student out there in Coopersville that got to learn all the special intel Madzak knows about. Yeah, there's no such thing as free. Remember when our remember when our teachers taught us about all those secret things, saying that they're going to lose their teaching degrees, Joe? Yeah. Oh, some of that Madzak retained it. Just enough to piss people off. Oh, I love it. Yes, Biden, I'm back. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, I would love some fresh batteries. Tell your wife and your daughter to stop buying so many batteries for their vibrating in, in, instruments because they're leaving the, they're jacking the prices up for me, and all I want is the the triple A's. I know for the, for, yes, the triple A's are in demand. I know it. Yes, and you should put longer strings on the. You should put longer strings on, have, yes, have standardized longer ropes on the tampons because with the weight issue that we have in America, they're, they're getting toxic shock syndrome from not being able to dig the tampons back out. Yes, if you put a longer string, it'll give me something to dangle from while I try with my puny weight to tog it from the, from the crevice. Although I do love spelunking.
Hmm. Yes. 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 Well, I want to ask a couple other questions. Russia is building a new super port in the Arctic region now. Yeah. And China's building very large icebreakers for the Antarctic. And I want to know why we sold 7.500, why do we sell 7,500,000 gallons of aviation fuel to the McMurdo Station down in Antarctica? Why do we need that much airplane fuel in Antarctica? And oil, what are we sending the oil there for? To cover up the fact that we're pulling oil from the soil? I don't know, you tell me. All right, you can go to your cabinet this time for this one. I'm disrupting the space program. I know, because the space program isn't the answer. No, we have to we have to worry about cleaning up the mess in the garden. Yeah, you can't just go plant a new garden. You have to pull the weeds. Weeds have to be pulled in order to replant. If you don't nurture the plants, they won't produce fruit. Yes. Life begins and ends with the soil under your feet. That's where your education starts. That's where your education ends. Yes. And if you can't love the dirt, you can't love your fellow man. Because your fellow man is of the dirt. That's why there's so many unhappy women. Yes, it only tastes like pee for a minute. It's not that bad. No, I love it. I do. I wrote a book about it. Yeah. No, it's not selling very well because I'm giving it away. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Black powder. I'm strictly black powder. I want the bullets to hurt when I hit you. I do. 44 balls. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. You can get to the crossword puzzle. You can't do a crossword puzzle for one of my own shows. I never produced a crossword puzzle. Now I'm going to seek compensation for that. Who did that? Well, the answer is anti-establishment. Yeah, because ants, when they do their tunneling and stuff, they, they lose their eyesight. It's like those Chinese people doing the hair art. Yeah, it makes you have to squint hard. You lose your eyesight. Your vision goes bad. Ants are very intelligent. Yeah, you should see what they refuse to eat. Oh, yeah, most things with cellophane on it. They like Jolly Ranchers for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yeah, it's anti-establishment. Yeah, when ant's vision goes bad, they seek out an ant-eye establishment. Get it? Ant-eye establishment? It's very profitable. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on. Yes, Don Wilson, I want to do a half-mast flag for Don Wilson, the guitars for the Ventures. Yes, immediately, I want you to send that out worldwide. And then we want to get into one more topic here. Well, yes, Russia and Cuban leaders are discussing a strategic partnership. And why is that? Mm-hmm. I've contacted the Kremlin. They read my material. Yes, despondency.blogspot.com. No, I, I admire Putin. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to sit in the kitchen with him, do a little cooking exercise, and have a chat. Yes, I admire him. He's a fine specimen of a man. Certainly. I don't see him crying on national TV because he can't build a fire. No. Yes, well, you can call me any names you want. Names are popular. They're very profitable. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Well, in this day and age, people are all confused. Like just the other day, a black man was misidentified and arrested as a white felon twice for his age. Yeah, Nevada. Yeah. My source, NBC News. Yeah, Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg helped facilitate that into my hands. Yes. Well, I don't know. I think I think I think it's. Well, Congress is spending billions on carbon capture. Yes, I think we've captured enough carbon. should have left the trees up you take a lesson from all the people in Europe and Middle East who cut down all the trees to manufacture ships to go out and explore the world for riches and wealth and profits Columbus was searching for a, for a better route to the Indies for the trade for the spice trade yes for profit he stumbled onto tobacco and the Dutch capitalized on it Dutch merchants, they're responsible for slavery in America. Yes, yes, me and my big mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you need to watch my show more often. Speaking of which, I have to get back to my kids. Yes. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you work on that sneer and squint. I suggest watching Pale Rider a few more times. Okay. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. Oh, every time I have a chat with him, I want to have my nipples pierced with a hot coat hanger. So, yes, we're, we're, in, we're, we're, we're in some serious troubles. Yes, we are. Serious troubles. But my band is number one on Reverb Nation. It's went up 300 to 307 globally. Let's see why. This is Runaway Bride. This is a song about Jennifer Wilbanks, who ran off on her husband when she got cold feet. She didn't want him to find out that she was a he. Took off, got found in, in Oklahoma. The cops found, finally found her nationwide manhunt. They were threatening her with six years imprisonment. And um, she said she was abducted by a, a white girl and a Mexican guy. I don't know. I don't usually highlight people's ethnicities when I'm abducted. No. Uh, here's Runaway Bride. My debut song. 2005, baby. I hope you guys like this.
Goldman Sachs is a conspiracy by the American government to get more work out of people. They make the bathroom breaks shorter. Yeah, so that way you get in there, drop your pants, it flies right out, you're right back to the conveyor belt. Packaging more pee hole vibrators. Mussolini's the inventor of the stapler? Yeah. Yes. He didn't want people using paper clips because they'd become flaccid from that lesser use of physical strength. Time for a new dictator. Biden, him and his speech impediment. It's dictation, not dictation. That's only when the lights are off. Oh. Ha ha! I love me. Yes, all men will fall short of the glory of God. Even me. to measure up though. This is Rick Belkoffer from Grand Haven, Michigan, playing lead guitar, awesome. Top blues guitarist in West Michigan, one off. Awesome, awesome tune. That's from uh, Live at the VFW Hall. Downtown Grand Rapids, the D.W. Cassard Post. Now, we're going to play Homicide Blues by Rick Belkoffer, R.B. and Company. It's from 1990. Homicide Blues. Ooh, yeah. Life's a gamble, baby. you got to bet on yourself and always improve the pot. I'm the captain here. Giving to the crew. I can't take all this abuse. And I don't care what I have to lose. I gotta make it to come out. But I'm afraid what I'll find out about you.
get some more coffee. When we come back, we're gonna take Rosie for a little spin around the dance floor. Mm, yeah. That's a song from 1990. Smoke and Hot. His band is awesome. He's got a band now called Big Bamboo or Blue Bamboo. I haven't talked to him in a while, so I don't know if that, how accurate that is. But he was our lead guitar player at our show. Yeah, we had a we had a girl we used to flirt with down at this place called the Tuscans Deli in, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Very nice little deli liquor store place we used to buy booze. Yeah, I'm a. You're sober in one more month, 22nd of February. I'll be a you one year sober. Anyway, we went down there. It was my suggestion to go down and flirt with this girl who ran the place, as I wanted to test out our new song, the Runaway Bride song. And um, we went down there and we played out in front of the store. And a man came through, a black man, in a double-breasted suit, pinstripe suit, driving a drop top. And he came in, he came out, and he came back in, and he gave me a card. And he, he asked me for a card. I said, I don't have a card. Anybody can have a card. Yes. Anyway, he said, hey, you know, I'm going to give you a call. So several months goes by, and I get this call out of the blue. And it's him, and he says, hey, can you guys fill a two-hour spot? And I got to thinking about it, and I thought, well, you know, I run my trap all night long. We sit and play. We entertain for hours at a time. Yeah, we can fill a two-hour spot. And he said, great, and he gave me the date, Memorial Day, 2005. He said, come on down. I'd like you guys to play. We're raising money for the police to be able to get a new canine. And I thought, great, I love to help out the cops. I pay fines all the time. Yeah, and uh, so we go down there. Before we go, I call up, I call Danny, Dan DeRider, and I said, Dan, Dan, I says, we got a show to do. Believe it or not, I got a gig for us. And he says, you got a gig? I said, yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. 
and he says, well, we're going to need to, he says, you're going to have to learn some bass parts or play a shit ton of harp. He says, we're going to need a ringer. We're going to have to call R.B. So he got on the phone, called R.B., and R.B. met us there. And we did the show. No practice, no rehearsal. We didn't even chat about it. R.B. says, let's just play. So we just started playing. Yeah, we just started playing. And this album, um, this this can be found on my Reverb Nation page, uh, the Bandana Brothers, or look for Prospect Studios, and you'll find four albums. Uh, one of which is, um, well, let's go to it. Who likes hip hop? Anybody? I know some people like hip hop. Prospect. Studios. I own some hip hop. Yes, two hip hop songs I own. Player hate me and famous names. Who wants to be a famous name? Here's an innocent song. Very healthy song. Famous names. We're gonna play. Famous names. <laughs> Watch out, watch out, give me room, meet the right old man, Mr. Daniel Boone, I'm very white at night, the Loretta Stare, or James Brown, she's a list of Blair, I know this is right, I'm smoking John's a bone, the days of our lives are like Ryan's home, I'm just like Morris Day, I like that Luke Skywalker, reaches George Burns, aren't you like the Night Stalker, I remember Rosie Queer and Emma Tina Marie, I watch this Emma D. Sam and Emma Tina Marie, one pair of Tammy Matters, no Brady Bunch, sounds like Ray Charles and Chocolate Thunder Dunk, I like them Lego Daisy thumbs up if you'd like to actually come on the show and introduce yourself in chat. I'll just send you an invite if you accept it. Oh, wrong one. I 
send you an invite. No, there's only one viewer. Famous names. Okay, so that's famous names. If anybody wants it, I'll post it. I'll put a uh, copy. I will put a link in the comments. Paste. Okay, now I would like to read a piece. You're from the Philippines. Rodolin is from the Philippines. Rodolin's from the Philippines. Um, let me read a piece real quick that I think you'll appreciate. There's something that I wrote. I do a lot of writing and I do a lot of sharing and hopefully inspire people. But this is a piece and it goes back to journaling. The formation of yourself, becoming who you are, is all about writing in your diary, your journal, forming your thoughts, gathering how you feel. You know, like if I upset Rodolin, you know, maybe she writes about it in her journal and figures out how to present that to me so that I can maybe offer her an apology or something and vice versa. It's how you, it's how you become. Anyway, when it comes to thoughts, they can be referred to as fleeting and fleeting thoughts. It's true, but a captain's log is a fire capturing a fleeting thought or two. Thoughts come in fleets and flit away if you're without a pen. And as a captain, you must always rise to capture all of them. Thoughts come fleeting, and with a fleet, it depends on you. You just never know when and if the next fleet comes to you. Yes. Yes. Anyway, that's a little piece I wrote. Um... Yeah, so I dived into a lot of things today, I dove into a lot of things. I don't know, I'm no literature professor, but I'm slightly literate, slightly ill. Yes. You know, some people think I'm schizophrenic. Yeah, they, they had me in a mental hospital for 33 days and they said I was schizophrenic. They insisted on it because I'm asking too many tough questions. I must be out of my mind. Yes. Taking on the whole entire world, it seems. Yeah, even in a day and age where I toss myself at the feet of so-called believers who refuse me. Yeah, who are in disbelief of their own belief. Yeah, they're just believers enough to seek the security of the church. But they don't really believe. No, that would disrupt their profiteering scandal. And thing is, is everybody... That we're, wrong, we're mad at in the White House and the Senate and all these fat cats. We want them to come clean and, and be responsible for, for what's going on. Take, take, take action. But nobody wants to disrupt their own false sense of security to do the right thing. Yeah, because if you're stealing staples from the office and you snitch on the guy next to you who's stealing staples from the office, well, you both get caught. Got too many hands in the cookie jar. Yeah, see, if we get rid of money, get rid of all these problems. It's all about the garden of life. It's all about the garden. Yeah, and everybody knows who, who's a father or a mother who grew up on a farm. It's no fun having a garden when the family won't help. But it sure is lovely to walk through the garden and see your seeds popping up and see the fruits coming. Yeah, see, and in government... The government is the gardener, and the people are the plants in the garden. And they know how much fruit you're going to make. They know when your plant is not going to produce anymore. They know when to pull you from the garden. Yeah. Yeah, I got all the answers. I do. Let's play the guitar. I can't play the guitar! But I'm a rule breaker, so I do it anyway, because everybody says I can't do it. Yeah. So let's play. With my Schechter Fastback. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
play the guitar. Did you see Tom Shuba's on deck standing there with the torch at the fuse of that cannon? Oh, dying to light it. Dying to light it for one shot to be heard around the world. This miserable, filthy, littered up planet full of fools. Oh, it's time to take to the water, I think, where it's nice and safe. I'd rather deal with the elements of nature than the elements of man's created. Yeah, so maybe our only hope, Tom, out on the water. And then when the fighting's over, we could return to land and glean everybody, all the bodies. Put them in a little heap. I wonder how much fuel you could get from an embalmed body. You know, they embalm a body and they put it in a casket. How much, how many BTUs could you get out of that body? Can we refer them into, can we, can we revert them into fuel? Maybe a tobacco-soaked lungs. I wonder how much fuel could be derived from tobacco-soaked lungs if we dug up all the smokers around the world. Yeah, maybe tobacco really was a wonder drug. And just think, artificial lungs are on the market. Alexa, who owns the patent for the artificial lung? Here's something I found on the web. According to Fool.com, the patent is licensed exclusively to Jerome from Johns Hopkins University. You hear that? Alexa, how much does it cost to get an artificial lung? Do you want to know the price for artificial lung? Yes. For artificial long, the closest I could find on Amazon is Geraling Six Pieces Artificial Silk Hydrangea Flowers Long Stems Fake Flowers. It's $22.99. Wrong answer. Artificial lungs. Respiratory system. How much is it? It's $22.99. With delivery by January 30th. Alexa. Wave your stupidity subterfuge. How much is an artificial lung? Do you want to know the price for artificial lung? No. Here's something I found on the web. According to landscapingnetwork.com, artificial turf costs about $8, $12 per square foot, double the cost of a sod lawn installed with a sprinkler system. Did that answer help? How much artificial turf does it does it take to cover a landfill? Thanks for telling me. Alexa, how much artificial turf does it cover? <laughs> Spit it out, Zach. It don't belong to you. Alexa, here's something I. How much soil does it take to cover a landfill? Here's something I found on the web, according to wasteadvantagemag.com. Daily cover is a process that requires landfills to cover the trash with six inches of soil every day. How much soil is in the average landfill? Here's something I found on the web. According to redbag.com, capacity of the existing landfill is 329,600 cubic meters for a total site capacity of 1,030,319 cubic meters. Refuse and daily cover soil. How many landfills are in the United States? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, as of 2015, there are more than 3,000 active landfills in the United States, as well as more than 10,000 old municipal landfill sites that are no longer in use. How many landfills are in the ocean? Here's something I found on the web. According to Apropedia.org, the global ocean has at least eight major garbage patches, housed within each of the eight subtropical gyres. How much garbage do we dump in the ocean a year? Here's something I found on the web. According to Guardianof.com, people dump an estimated 14 billion pounds of trash into the ocean every year. 14 billion pounds. 
Alexa. 14 billion. Alexa, how much compostable material is in the average landfill? Here's something I found on the web. According to Silco.org, the landfill processes 40,000 tons of green waste into compost each year. The future's in composting. Gunsmithing also. Yes. You're going to need your guns to protect your garden. Yes, you will. Nice 44 with a 12 inch barrel in your sidearm. Yeah, Tom Schumer, good to see you. Yeah. I hope everybody's paying attention. So we need to visit the landfills. We need to pick one. And we need to harvest it. We need to dig up the hoard, God said. Yes, the hoard must be uncovered. Yes. All those resources in the landfills, you see, Chinese are buying our waste now in order to, you know, take possession of that. They have rights to be standing there in the waste pile. That means China's already here now on paper. It'd be more profitable for them to come here, get the trash, manufacture it where they stand in the goods, turn around and sell it back to us. And then, you know, receive it again when we throw it away. Because they'll already be standing there to catch it. Am I making sense to anyone? China outnumbers us. Yes, they're smaller people than we are. But we're all flaccid. Drunks and drug addicts. Yeah, America's a candy shell of a superpower, but when you lick it a few times and the pea flavor goes away, you get to the poop flavor. Yeah, all those soft people that the drug dealers say are so soft and easy to take money from. Yeah, those are the consumers corporate America created. Their TV, those, those are the babies that they created to take the candy from. Peace, love. And you know who dares to care and ask all those tough questions. Yeah, Mad Zach. Crazy old Mad Zach. Crazy like a fox. Mad scientist, mad. Yeah, it's taking over. With a pen. Mm -hmm. This one right here. Taking over the world with a pen. Never underestimate the power of a pen. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Yes, Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh.